in South Africa, are you happy? Because happiness is a big deal. To yeah. find true happiness. Now, all doctors agree that happiness has a direct connection to your physical health and psychological well-being. And this morning, we want you to find your true happiness, and we're helping you out with that. Here's Graham. I think one of the best parts about starting a new year is anticipating what new magic humanity will introduce. Now, the world today, it's growing faster than ever before. And from virtual reality to drones to incredible advances in medicine, there is no telling what this year will bring. But despite all of our exciting potential, studies are showing a gradual increase in unhappiness across the board. Now, with us in studio to help us understand why we are sharing this experience and what we can do about it. International Ambassador of Peace, Prem Rawat. Prem, thank you so much again for joining us this morning. I'm going to start with a report that I would imagine you have a very unique view on, and I'd love to get your take on, on exactly why it's called this, and if it should be indeed called the World Happiness Report, released by the UN this year. Um, in the 2015 report, it ranks South Africa at number 113 out of 158 nations. That alone makes me a little bit unhappy. Um, and I think a lot of expectation around what, uh, where we'll fare in, in 2016. But what do you make of the happiness report? Is it indeed a happiness report and of course India is 117 <laughs> um, but I looked at that report and to me happiness is subjective it's not an objective thing you cannot say this 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 equals happiness because if if wealth and this is one of the things they take into account is the wealth then what if you were marooned on an island and you found a gold mine you know, nobody to share it with, nobody to talk to uh, about all the wealth you've just acquired, but what would you do? Well, you would still want to get off the island, you know, and maybe there would be times where we'd be like, no, I don't want anybody to come and see my gold, <laughs> but then, you know, if you really were hard up to get off the island, then that would become your priority. Yeah. And so to me, I think, personally for me, my opinion would be that it should be called the prosperity report and not happiness report. Because the main thing is we want prosperity. We all want prosperity. Certainly on a, on a big scale for our country. Absolutely. Yeah. And prosperity is very possible. It's extremely possible. Because when you look at the simple things that we could do, and that is one thing that we could do, is bring humanity back. Just bring humanity back, you know, not just greed, 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 just bring humanity back. And the beautiful thing of that is to bring humanity back, all people have to do is understand their humanity. They already have it. They're just so out of touch with it. Mm. And there is a kindness in that humanity. There is a grace in that humanity. There is compassion in that humanity. So that being said, what can we do as an individual? I think we all have the collective good in mind, but it starts within us, each one of us as an individual. How do we achieve happiness? We have to start abandoning our excuses. We have an excuse for everything. Why is that person poor? Oh, it wasn't me. Uh, it's his karma. In his lifetime, he must have done something nasty. Stop it. Just stop it. You know, just stop making excuses. Oh, but let's get rid of poverty. Oh, that's, that's way too big of an issue. I, 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 what can I do to do it? No, everybody plays a little part. Everybody plays that simple part. You know, man went to the moon. And when that time came, there were people who said it cannot be done. And there were people who said, yes, it can be done. And the reason why man ended up on the moon was not because of the people who said it cannot be done, but by, because of the people who said it can be done. It is the cans that the earth will belong to. Oh, well, we're going to continue our discussion in just a moment. Thank you so much again for that. I think I could probably sit here for a couple of hours soaking <laughs> this all in. Um, but we are going to be that tipping point here today. Happiness is a state of mind and a journey rather than a destination. I know it's a cliche, but it rings true. If you start by making the simple choice to be happy within yourself, you'll go a long way to being it.